So we're going to talk about how to make jump turns. Jump turns are very useful. Some people call them short swings, but jump turns is when you're going down the hill and to make a turn, you're trying to launch yourself off of the snow, make a rotation in the air and land your skis. There's a variety of jump turns, but they're very beneficial for a lot of aspects of skiing. You can relate this to skiing on steep slopes, especially if you've had that problem where you're trying to get the turn made, you either haven't got the confidence or you're getting the tails of those skis stuck. This will help you launch off of the snow and get a release. It's very similar in steep, narrow situations when you want to get those skis around, especially when it gets dangerous in a no-fall zone, you want to know that you can get your skis around in midair and land them. One of the things we always do in our academy courses is ensure the person that's about to go to somewhere that's more exposed or a bit more dangerous has the capability to make a jump turn in a very tight situation. Sometimes even just going from one edge to the next. It's really important to be able to dominate your ski boot so as to get a very good, powerful extension, but importantly, when you land, you know that you can flex and absorb through the ankle. All your joints are gonna flex, but if the ankle isn't doing it, everything else will be back seat. So to work yourself into jump turns, try and find yourself a little bit of a, a shallower gradient that makes it easier to succeed with the exercise. So the technical process is as you're going through these turns, you're going to make a much more explosive extension off your skis. You might relate that to something as simple as jumping up in the air, and that's kind of what it is. But that's what's going to help you get the skis off the ground. The other things that are going to help you in this is making sure you bring a pole plant into it. You're not going to be able to make your jump turns without the firm support of a pole plant to help you launch. It's a bit like the jack-in-the-box button to get you off up in the air. Once you've got the hang of linking these jump turns together, really narrow off your corridor and be super conscious of your upper body staying in the fall line and not rotating when you rotate your legs in the air. You're going to make a really strong rotation of the legs in the air. It's very important that your hips don't drift around with you. A common mistake when we're coaching people and trying to teach them jump turns is they kind of forget that we're on a gradient like this and they treat their body as if it's standing up walking down the street. When you project and launch yourself into the new turn direction. Coming straight up in the air will cause the tails of the skis to have too much pressure against the snow. Try and dive slightly forwards in the air so you can release the whole ski and land comfortably. A common thing that skiers sometimes find is when they take off, one ski takes off and then the other and very similar with the landing. In this type of turn, we wanna try and see you launch off of both feet at the same time, land on both feet at the same time. Take advantage of two edges working for you all of the time.